how to dominate Amazon's algorithm in 2019. I know everyone is thinking about this, so I thought I'd make a video addressing this, especially as Seller SEO just came out with a new blog post, which is really cool. And uh, before we get into it, let me just quickly say, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment down below um, what you th where you think I'm going with this. When you see the picture that's gonna be like over here, um, Leave a comment down below which one you think you'll be able to dominate. Okay, let's get right into it so that you can actually understand what I am talking about. So, Amazon's algorithm, what they call the A9 algorithm. Now, oh, let me just get rid of all of this stuff. Um, the A9 algorithm, that is how um, your product is ranked on Amazon. Okay, and no one really knows how it works. Um, now, Seller SEO created a blog post um, saying what they think, and it looks quite accurate actually based on personal testing, um, what they think um, is a direct factor to ranking your product on Amazon. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here. So just down there, you can see what I'm looking at on my computer screen. You can see the, um, the impact on rank and you can see what's impacting it. So you've got seller authority, you've got impressions, sales internal, PPC sales, click-through rate, off-site sales, conversion rate, 180 day sales, and organic sales. What is any of this stuff? What does it mean? Oh, okay, so let's talk about what each individual means, and I'm gonna try and give you one tip to increase each of these, uh, each of these, uh, what can you call them, sections really, or or lines, I don't know, um, criteria, whatever. Okay, so again, you've got it down there in front of you. We're gonna start with seller authority. What is seller authority? Now, it actually tells, it actually speaks about what all these things are up here, but I don't think I need that anyways. So seller authority is um, where you stand like in Amazon as a seller. What's, what's your performance looking like on your Seller Central? You know you've got your performance scores. What are your seller reviews looking like? How long have you been an Amazon seller for? Basically, what is your authority in the Amazon network, right? So are you are you good? Are you brand new? Because if you're brand new, yes, it's harder. But now bear in mind, on this tab, on this, on this um, chart, we can see the three best ones are conversion rates, 180 day sales, and organic sales. The next ones are offsite sales, click-through rates. So seller authority isn't such a big deal, so I wouldn't worry so much about that one. You've got impressions. Impressions is how many times someone sees your listing. So on amazon.com, amazon.co.uk, any of the partner websites, how many, time, how many times is your listing seen? That is an impression. It doesn't necessarily result in a sale or anything like that. That is just an impression. The next one we've got is sales internal. What does that mean? Well, that means sales that don't, um, that means sales that don't require someone to have searched for the, your product. And uh, what does that mean? So that means sales that you get through, um, um, let, me, let me think, oh, so for example, if you have a product and it says frequently sold with, and your product is that frequently sold with, and you got sales through that, then that's what in sale, sales internal is. And let me just double check that, because that's, that's what I would think it is. Um, yes, yeah, so sales internal, sales that in, uh, initiate from the Amazon website without being tied uh, without being tied to a search. They spelled tied wrong. Um, so like things frequently bought with, that's sales internal. Now, PPC sales, PPC sales is pretty much advertising. How much, like, what sales are you getting through advertising? If you're getting lots of sales through advertising, that will obviously um, boost your rank on Amazon. Um, because again, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but all of this is how to boost your product to the number one spot on Amazon. So just um, playing with the Amazon algorithm to really get yourself up there. So, PBC sales is straight, straightforward. It's literally just advertising sales. Click-through rate. Click-through rate is from when someone searches your product on Amazon and you've got all the listings, what percentage of people click through to you? Okay, now the best way to, to increase your click-through rate is to have your first image stand out as much as possible. So have a look at what everyone else is doing for their first image and try and do something completely different. You want it to stand out. You don't want people to get what I call banner blindness, which is when they're just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling through Amazon 
and all the images look the same, all the script, all the titles look the same. You want something like if if all the images are facing like this way, you want yours to face this way. Or, like you want to do something where it's like stands out, right? So that will increase your click through rate, which you can see is starting to um, have a larger impact on the rank. The next one is off-site sales. And what does that mean? Off-site sales is sales that you get not on Amazon. It's quite clear in the name, to be honest. Um, but for example, that's like sales on Facebook, YouTube, Google. Um, and actually, off-site sales have been known to uh, increase your rank three times more than on-site sales. Um, just because Amazon love when you bring extra traffic to their website. You're basically, it's you're paying for other people to come and visit Amazon. So they're obviously gonna like you more and reward you more for that. So offsite sales, I would say setting up Facebook advertising, um, Google advertising, sometimes even YouTube advertising. Now, just as a side point, if you do want to see um, tutorials on how to set up Facebook advertising for your Amazon products, leave a comment down below and tell me that. Um, if everyone does, then I will 100% make because we've been doing it for ages and it's just, it has amazing results on our product. So that's what off-site sales are. Conversion rate, well conversion rate is pretty straightforward. Conversion rate is what percentage of people land on your page on Amazon and then buy. So from the search, they click your product, they view your product page and then they buy. What is that conversion rate of people who are buying? Um, the lar larger conversion rate you have, the more Amazon gonna wanna show your product because you are making them more money. So that makes a lot more, that, that just makes a lot of sense and that's why it's the, well, well that's why it's tied for the top place of the highest impact um, that would affect your product ranking. So conversion rates. Now, how do you increase conversion rates? Well, that's with title, um, with bullets, with description, with lots of good images, with good reviews. And I mean, this is a huge topic and in our course, we have a whole massive section on how to create an amazing listing and have conversion rates of up to 70% because that is personally what we've done. Um, the next one is 180 day sales. 180 day sales is very cool. So this is, Amazon will track your sales over 180 days and um, it will, it, it will affect your rank based on those 180 days. So if you're a new seller and you haven't even been on Amazon for 180 days, obviously this won't take effect for you. But if you've been on Amazon for a while, we've been on Amazon for years now, this takes massive effect. So you wanna make sure you don't go out of stock because obviously this will have a big effect on your 180 day sales. And you want to make sure you're ranking for tons of different keywords because you want to be getting sales from, you wanna be getting a lot of sales over the 180 days so that you are continuously increasing your rank. And um, as a rule of thumb, if the top person is getting 40 sales a day, in order for you to overtake that person, you have to be um, making more sales per day than they are. So if you, if you can see that you are making 20 sales per day and you're number four or you're number three on your main keyword, the top person is probably not making that many sales or more than you. And that could probably tell you that there's not much demand in this niche for a product and it can also tell you that it's, you're very close, like it's very easy to get there, you probably need a few more sales to overtake them. Um, the next one is, or the last one is organic sales. Now everyone knows what organic sales are. Organic sales is just someone searching for your product on Amazon and buying it. No advertising, no frequently bought with, no special stuff, just organic sales. And this, this is where keywords plays the biggest biggest part of this business because keywords are everything in Amazon. And if you don't focus on keywords, you will not succeed on Amazon. It's so important, especially now, 2018 to 2019, to focus on keywords. Having yourself ranked high for 50 or 60 keywords will ensure your organic sales are huge. And if your organic, organic sales are high, then you will go up the listing so unbelievably fast. So that is what I have for you today for the Amazon algorithm. I hope that all made sense. If it didn't, please leave a comment down below um, if you have any questions about it. And also leave a comment down below. I know I've told you to leave so many different comments down below, but whatever, just leave me some essays basically. Leave a comment down below as well what you want to see, what type of videos you want to see, um, if there's any specific topics you want me to cover, anything really. And, uh, and yeah, and that's it for this video. So again, don't forget to subscribe and um, turn the bell notification on and I will hopefully see you on Sunday for my next video because I don't post on Fridays or Saturdays. So hopefully I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you for watching.